HIV is a virus that attacks a person's immune system. Most people get HIV through anal or vaginal sex or by sharing needles and other drug injection equipment with a person who has HIV. HIV can also be passed by a pregnant woman to her baby during pregnancy, childbirth, or later through breastfeeding. Without treatment, HIV can make a person very sick or even cause death. The only way to know if you have HIV is to get tested. Knowing your status can help you make healthy decisions. To prevent getting HIV, take medicine called PrEP if you're at high risk. Always use condoms or clean needles, never share needles, or choose not to have sex or inject drugs. If you have HIV, get in care and take HIV medicine as prescribed. With the right medical care, you can live a long, healthy life and prevent transmission to others. The only way to know for sure if you have HIV is to get tested. Everyone ages 13 to 64 should get tested for HIV at least once in their lifetime. If you have certain risk factors, you should get tested more often. For example, if you've had more than one sex partner or your sex partner has had more than one partner since your last HIV test, you should get tested again. If you continue to inject drugs and share needles or drug injection equipment, you should get tested at least once a year. If you're a sexually active gay or bisexual man, you should think about getting tested every three to six months. Testing can be quick and easy. Some tests take as little as 20 minutes, and some don't even involve a needle. You can also buy a self-test kit at a drugstore or online. To find a testing site near you, visit gettested.cdc.gov. If you are sexually active or inject drugs, there are more ways than ever to prevent HIV. You can use condoms every time you have sex. You can never share needles or other drug injection equipment. You can take medicine called PrEP. When taken as prescribed, PrEP is highly effective in preventing HIV from sex and injection drug use. You can get tested and treated for other STDs since having another STD can increase the chance of you getting HIV. You can also choose other sexual activities with little to no risk for getting HIV, such as oral sex. But remember, oral sex can transmit other STDs, like chlamydia, gonorrhea, or syphilis. If you inject drugs, you can lower your risk by using clean needles or cleaning your used needles and drug injection equipment with bleach and clean water. If your sex partner has HIV, you should encourage them to take their HIV medicine. HIV medicine can prevent sexual transmission to others. PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis, is a medicine that can prevent HIV. PrEP is for people who are HIV negative and at risk of getting HIV. This includes people who have a sex partner with HIV, people who don't always use condoms, or people who have been diagnosed with an STD in the past six months. PrEP is also for people who are HIV negative and sharing needles or other drug injection equipment or have a drug injecting partner with HIV. PrEP is highly effective for preventing HIV through sex or injection drug use. PrEP does not protect against other sexually transmitted diseases. Only condoms can protect against STDs such as syphilis or gonorrhea. Visit your healthcare provider to see if PrEP is right for you. If you decide to take PrEP, you'll need to take it every day or it's prescribed by your health care provider. There's no cure for HIV, but it can be controlled with treatment and people with HIV can live long, healthy lives. If you're diagnosed with HIV, get started on treatment right away. If you take your HIV medication as prescribed, the amount of HIV in your blood or your viral load can become so low that a test can't detect it. This is called being undetectable. Getting and keeping an undetectable viral load can keep you healthy. Also, it means you effectively have no risk of transmitting HIV to a partner through sex. If you're pregnant, having an undetectable viral load will greatly reduce the chance of passing HIV to your baby. It's important to tell your partner that you have HIV. You and your partner may want to consider additional prevention options like condoms, medicine to prevent getting HIV, and making decisions that are right for both of you. Finally, talk to someone with HIV. Find a local support group 
and learn about services in your area to help you get in care, stay in care, and live well.